hi everyone i hope you're well and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a boat neck design with keyhole if you're new to this channel you're welcome this is don larry and on this channel i upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting kindly subscribe and don't forget to put on your notification bell so you get notified anytime i put on a new video so to get started we're going to be working on the front basic bodies i have a tutorial on the channel on how to draft a basic bodies i'll put the link down in the description box so that you can watch that so as you can see i have my front basic bodies here and i've created the the shoulder slope the armhole curve this is our upper chest line this is the bust line this is the waist line and i've also placed the waist that and also i've created the side seam so what we have left is the neck and now we are going to be creating the neck so to create the boat neck design for the neck width this is our center front so for the neck width i use 4.5 inches the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 7.5 so the shoulder measurement will determine the neck width that you will use so i have 7.5 which i mark from here to here and for the neck width i use 4.5 inches if your own shoulder measurement divided by two is eight inches for example then you can make use of 4.5 or 4.75 inches so now we're going to be working on the neck depth so the first thing we want to do is to mark the neck depth and once you've determined how low you want your neck depth to be so you will mark that so i'll be using six inches and i'm just marking six inches here as you can see so from here now i will connect this point to the neck width to create the the neck cuff so that is the first thing that you will do so once you've done this the next thing you want to do is to determine how open you want the the keyhole to be and then we're going to be using the two inches in this tutorial so you can depending on how open you want it you can make it between 1.5 to 2.5 inches but i'll be using two inches in this tutorial so from here now which is our neck depth i will just mark two inches upward so um, the distance from here to here will be the keyhole that we want to achieve in this tutorial so once you've marked these two inches then you will also need to mark one and a half inches up so from here now i will mark one and a half inches up so once you've marked this one and a half inches we're going to be creating our second neck curve so as you can see now we have two neck curve so once you've marked this second neck curve and you will now come to your armhole area so this is our armhole depth you find the middle point which is here and then you create your armhole curve from this middle point so from this mark i will just mark down one inch between one inch to one and a half inches like this and once you've marked that then you will connect this mark to this mark using the curved part of your ruler so once you've achieved this then the next thing you want to do is to trace out this upper part this yoke part because we're going to be cutting it out separately from the basic bodies so you will need to trace it out on another pattern paper and i've done that already so this is what i have and then I also added the seam allowance around it so this is the upper part so once you've cut out the yoke part of the of the bodies then you can add your princess that and if you want just the waist that you can leave it like this so I will show you how to add your princess that to this pattern so since we've traced out uh, this part of the of our pattern then we can work on this so so to place the princess that you will mark one inch from the middle point of your ham hole here and then you will connect this to your bust point using the curved part of your ruler
and then once you've done that you mark one inch up between three quarter inch to one inch depending on how large your bust is so i will mark three quarter inch and then i will connect this one inch that i marked down to this three quarter inch using the curve part of the ruler like this and then i will just smoothen this part and then this one inch that we use remember to add it back like this and then you create a new armhole cuff so just like this and now that we've placed our princess that we're going to be cutting it out and before we cut it out i will just add the seam allowance to the neckline to the shoulder slope and to the armhole So just like this, I've already added seam allowance to the side seam, then I will cut it out. So I've cut it out as you can see it, and now we have our round neckline. So this is the upper part of the pattern, and this is what it will look like after sewing it. So the next thing I want to do now is to separate the side panel from the center panel. So I've cut it out as you can see it, and I've separated the side panel from the center panel. So this is what we have and this is the upper part of it. So once you join the two together, this is what you will have. So for the side panel, you're going to be cutting out two pieces and you're going to be cutting the center panel on fold. So now that we have this, I will move on to cutting on the fabric and then I will be adding seam allowance to the dart line on the fabric. So I've cut it out on the fabric as you can see it. And also you will need a lining so that you can have a neat finishing so as you can see i've cut out the the lining exactly the same way i cut the main fabric also to the dart line you will need to add your half an inch seam allowance just like i've done here so once you've cut it out on the fabric the next thing we want to do now is to join the side panels to the center panel so go ahead and join it together and you will do exactly the same thing to the lining and also to this yoke part you will need to turn the yoke part with the lining at the neckline just like this and also at this part so i will go ahead and do that and i will show you what next so i've joined the side panels to the center panel as you can see it and i've also done the same to the lining so what i did was that i placed the the right side of the lining you can see the wrong side of the lining so i place the right side of the lining on the right side of the fabric and then i join the two together at the neckline and also this is the upper part of our top what you will do now is to notch so you notch around the curved part and then you turn it to the right side so i will go ahead and turn it to the right side i will also Turn this to the right side and high on it and I will show you what next so I've turned it to the right side and I've ironed it as you can see it so once you've done that all you need to do is to place the upper part on the main bodies like this when you say that and then you will just join the two together at the armhole area and also at the shoulder so I'll go ahead and do that and I will show you how it looks like. So guys, our boat neck design with keyhole is now ready. So you can see how beautiful and neat it is. So this is what the back looks like. Can you see that? So now that you have your front, all you need to do is to go ahead and make your back bodies. You join it at the shoulder, at the side. You had your sleeve to it. You had your peplum to it. So guys, I hope you understand and you enjoyed this tutorial. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.